Hello guys, hope you're doing well. In this video we'll be testing my uh, KS0 Pro number 6 unit uh, with the change in airflow and see how it will affect quickly on the temperature rising on the heat sink of the MOSFET. So, so right now we're running a 14 miles per hour uh, speed. It's a wind measure device just through the middle uh, center of the KS0 Pro and the temperature is around uh, 51 50 51 on the MOSFET number three from the top and uh, let's change a little bit the uh, decrease the speed of the fan to fi it's running on 57 we'll put 52 now 52 rpm drop to a certain miles per hour on the wind blow uh, speed and uh, let's check the temperature uh, the temperature didn't change yet. It's uh, maybe slightly gonna go up, but it's usually takes um, Half a minute or so to warm up that MOSFET. So uh, There's not a big change on the uh, Monitor tool. It's pretty much the same, but a little bit temperature is a little bit higher, but all the chips below 50 uh, the hashing chips and the MOSFETs are uh, that's where the uh, I think temperature sensor is in the MOSFET. So let's change to 50. So right now we've we have uh, 57, uh, 5200, we'll put 4700 RPM and let's the, uh, change that and see what the wind speed is around 12 miles per hour. So just a one mile more drop. So basically from 15 miles per hour, we drop in on the middle to uh, 12 miles per hour and let's see how it will affect the actual temperatures on the MOSFETs of uh, the heat sinks or MOSFETs so it did rise it up already to 53 degrees so the two degrees up so usually it takes a couple minutes so let's uh let's wait uh for a minute maybe and uh remeasure it what's the temperature there usually uh the upper MOSFET starts heating up now right now it's number three is a little bit hotter but the number one on the top will should start race so let's check right now uh there's been a two minutes look and it's already been uh, 80 degrees going up still going up all right so i did uh increase the speed back to 5700 rpm but look the temperature still coming up 1590 over 100 so what i noticed there is no way to stop temperature after it increased over about uh 70 degrees keep on going up after that and it will not stop until it will basically stop hashing the miner will stop hashing at that point when it's over 100 uh, to prevent uh, damage all right so we restarted the uh, miner basically uh, just to be able to see what's uh, if it's gonna start mining again on the uh, uh, with the same settings it's on the 320 version um, and it just started you could see 87 5 175 clocks it's a 320 version overclocks and uh we just a couple minutes on the uh back online so it will take a few minutes until it start uh hashing and we'll start getting acceptance shares that's when the actually uh, temperature is so you could see we're back to 14.5 uh for the wind speed um and now we need to see how we're going to perform on the temperature so all right so we'll um have to wait till it starts hashing the temperatures right now is okay still on uh mosfet is about 48 degrees 47 48 and it's still on number three mosfet so that's pretty normal temperatures but uh, after a few minutes it's probably going to go up again what i noticed is after it's crushed and went over 100 degree, it creates some kind of film or expands and pushes away the heat sinks. That's my, my theory, but then it will not um, hash again until I wait probably around six hours and then I'll come back and try 320 and it works. So uh, I already tried to re-glue that um, heat sink at once and it was kind of burnt out uh, because of that. So right now full speed and let's wait a few minutes and, and re-measure. Uh, it's still 48 
on the MOSFET. So let's give it another maybe a couple minutes and uh, remeasure the temperatures. But uh, just a minute later, look at this. It's already been rising. It's been uh, 82, 86, 87. So look how quickly the temperature rise. I didn't even catch the moment again from what when it started, but it's full speed fan didn't change anything and because it's overheated just uh, prior that it's still gonna overheat and shut down the miner so I won't be able to mine any longer on this uh, version I will have to uh, basically put 300 version and it, it will run fine on 300 so 320 will not be available until it cools down completely take some time uh, or five hours even longer and then I, I able to restart on 320 and it works so as long as I keep the airflow for 320 so that's basically I just trying to show you guys how important the airflow for everything over 300 so even 300 could heat up so this uh, it will cool down the MOSFET right there so it start mm, still around the hundred so it looks like you're going up and down start still trying to get that cool but it's yeah even at the full speed it it cannot handle that temperature will now drop because it's already shut down look it's going backwards 82 80 it will drop so the miner not hushing any longer and you're not able even to see so this uh, temperatures you can see on your web GUI or your ice river monitoring tool it will show maybe a quick like a 50 60 degree increase on your uh, temperature one but you will not be able to tell what happening it's just gonna start hashing after it's still probably gonna show because it's only five minute segment there uh, refreshing rate for the hashing so it will not show immediately unfortunately you're not gonna know that's when device crashed on the monitoring tool but here we could see it's already not hashing and it's dropping the temperature. So at this point, I won't be using any longer 320. I'll put 300 version, uh, 300G, and we'll see if we can come back. It's um, it's it showed up uh, 8:25 clock, so it's 300 version G, and uh, we have few accepted shares, but it haven't been uh, showing the hash. So let's wait a little bit and come back, see how it's doing. So the temperature is uh, going to be stable and uh, we're blowing the full speed uh, around 15 miles per hour in the middle of the fan. Ambient temperature also is uh, about 50, 83 degree Fahrenheit, so it's keeping 48 degree on MOSFET. Um, it's also important to um, make sure you understand the all right, so we've been uh, 15 minutes almost uh, on 825 version that it's 300 giga hash uh, and it's doing 314, about 320, 314 on the web GUI as well and the uh, temperature seems fine. But another thing I noticed is you have to check for your ambient temperature and in the next s section of the video you're gonna see that the ambient temperature also uh, increased and shut down my miners. Okay guys, another testing I did is not only uh, the uh, fan speed, so I had the fan set up at uh, full speed 5700 RPM or 5800 RPM on both of these miners, right? On, uh, this is number 3 and this is my number 6 that I showed you in the video that was overheating. So also the ambient temperature, it's right here on the left, their garage. Um, I have sensor there so it's see it's coming up a little bit so I had the fan off and it went all the way to almost 90 degree there so at around 87 I think what I start noticing is this temperature so uh, it will increase uh, temp one will increase that board out temperature uh, according to your ambient temperature so like an every degree here it will increase here a few degrees but what happening is uh, after like about 85 or 87 uh, that board out temperature start increasing 
so when it hits 60 basically or uh, you cannot even see higher than 60 but the temperature continue rising quickly on the board and it shuts the board out so um, you have to watch out for this because if you get see like right now I have this board temperature going up so this gonna same thing overheat and go over so I kind of stopped this one frozen so um, it's not updating so you could see it did not reach even the hash rate it just oh, at six minutes went overheating and shut off the miner so I think I believe this is what happening to this number six right now so I have to change to the 300 overclocks uh, because it will not work also with the hotter environment so when it's about 72 I notice it, it works fine so I need to provide the cooler air or more airflow through the uh, miner. So that will be another test uh, within fruition design so we could see how it works. But yeah, look at this. It's 60, 61. It will shut the miner pretty soon. So yes, thanks for watching. I hope it will help somebody to set, uh, to make your settings properly so you don't overclock to the uh, temperatures uh, within the temperatures and your over uh, air flows uh, restrictions so if you have that don't try to set on 320 uh, if your miner doesn't work just set the lower uh, overclocks because you're going to be overheating um, your MOSFETs and um, it will just going to go the rate's going to go either to zero or it's fluctuate and uh, it will will be kicked out of the mining pool or will not mine basically so yeah you will just get stuck within after sometimes it just restarts back and forth so it's you don't want to you want to avoid this and uh, make sure to keep your temps i believe these temps uh 63 it's pretty hot it's not gonna run long so uh what i noticed is like on other miners i have to keep it below below 50 probably 52 and if it's increasing like this that's that means it starts overheating uh already so unfortunately i'll show you guys one Zero more so this is my hottest on 340 and look at this 47 35 and even with the temperature actually with um, ambient temperature when it went to 90 this miner was still capable of running so it's really going to depend how your uh, ks0 pro um, works with the environment with the airflow and all that so not every mosfet chip are the same i guess it's some of them can hold up better than the others so yeah it's not gonna be it's basically a silicon lottery at that point that were you capable of cooling down or wasting more energy to keep them cool or you're gonna be losing hash rate and it's overheat your device so I'd recommend just to set lower to the lower settings and uh, to be safe at that point so thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one